Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you five creative ways to customize the mobile menu for your Squarespace website. We're going to change the icon, we're going to change the link spacing, we're going to change the alignment of your mobile menu, and we'll give it a custom background image, and last but not least, we're going to change the size. Now, all the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so I can teach you exactly how these codes work so you can use them on your own website to make it uniquely yours. Let's get started. So here we are in my Squarespace 7.1 website, and these are the five things that we're going to do today. We're going to change the icon and use our own image instead of the mobile menu icon. We'll adjust the link spacing, change the alignment of that menu, add a custom background image, and then change the size. So scrolling up here, let's start with the very first one of changing the icon. If we hop into edit mode here and select edit site header, when you go over to the mobile version, you can actually change the menu icon to one of these four options right here. Thickness underneath that is going to change the thickness of those lines. But what if you want to use your own image? We can do that with custom CSS. I'll go ahead and select save. And what we're going to do is navigate to design and then select custom CSS. Now this code is listed in the description below. It's a pretty simple one. There's only one part of it you're gonna wanna change. So I'm gonna grab this code right here and I'll paste it here in my custom CSS window. Now scrolling down here so I can see the whole code, I'm gonna scroll up here so we can keep an eye on the icon which has now disappeared. We've told it to not display it. So the one part of this code you're gonna wanna change is where it says your URL here. That's where you place the URL for your image. Now, how do you get a URL for your image? You upload it to your website. Click on Manage Custom Files, and here you can just drag and drop an image from your computer and it will upload your Squarespace site. I already have one right here that we're gonna use. It's Gus the Pineapple. So back here in my code, I'm gonna delete that text. Then I'll click Manage Custom Files, and I will click on Gus the Pineapple. And there he is, right there in the top right-hand corner, representing my mobile menu. When we click on Gus, the menu opens, Clicking on them again, the menu closes. Now underneath here, I have a few other settings. I wrote background size contain, so Gus is going to fit in that space. You can also say cover, but as you notice, this makes Gus a little bigger and stretches him slightly out of proportion, so I didn't like that. We also have options for repeating, for the position, but leave background color transparent, important, alone. That makes sure that we don't see those lines. Same with burger inner display none. Don't touch that part of the code. But if you know a little bit of CSS, feel free to play around with those options. All right, let's keep making some changes here. Scrolling down, our next option is link spacing. And I don't have a code here because we can do this inside Squarespace. I'll go ahead and select save so we don't lose Gus. Let's scroll up here and hop into edit mode. If we go back to that same menu that we were in before, click on the mobile site here, or the mobile icon, I should say, on that top right hand side. Here you'll see the option for overlay menu. This is where we can adjust the distance between those links. Check it out. Now, as great as that is, we actually have some other alignment options here too. On the very top, we can align to the left, to the center, and to the right. Pretty awesome. Now, what if we actually wanna change the alignment vertically? Well, that's the next thing on our to-do list. I'll go ahead and select save because we're gonna need a little bit of code for this one. And yes, this is also in the description below. Let's adjust that vertical alignment. We're going to do that by changing where the content is in the flex box. If you have no idea what that means, don't worry. I'll show you how this works. I'm going to click on Gus again so we can see our menu. And underneath our code here, I'm going to enter a new line and paste that code that I just copied. Now check it out. All of the links went up to the top. I said flex start. And what that means is place all the links at the very beginning of this entire box where the menu is. You can also say flex end. And that'll put all of the links at the end. Now there are some other cool ones here I'm gonna put on the screen. Let's zoom in here a little bit. We can say space between. And what that's going to do is put the top link at the very top and the bottom link at the very bottom and then put an even amount of space between all of the other links. We can also say space around. And what that does is place an even amount of space between all of the links and then half that space at the top and half at the bottom. And then we have one last one and that is space evenly. I prefer space evenly because it looks great, but also we're going to change the size of this mobile menu and space evenly will look great no matter what size we're using. It's going to adjust so all of the links have an equal amount of space between them no matter what size our menu is. So let's go ahead and save our code and take a look at the other two changes we're gonna make. 
Scrolling down here, our next one is custom background. This right here is the basic code. And just like we did for the icon, all we need to change is your URL here. So I'm gonna copy this code, scroll down in my code here. Let's paste another new line and I'll paste it. I'm gonna hit enter on my keyboard a few times so we can scoot this code up. There we go. Let's remove the text that says your URL here. Oh, and let's open up our menu. And here, I'm gonna click Manage Custom Files, and I already have a mobile background image set here, so I'm gonna click on that. And now, we've got a really cool background for our mobile menu. Now again, we have background size cover, or you can say contain, but notice when I say contain, it's gonna repeat itself right there at the bottom. Contain keeps your image in proportion to the size of the container, but it will repeat it horizontally or vertically if it needs to. I prefer to use background size cover, so I know it's going to cover the whole menu. Okay, what have we done so far? We've got one last code to go through. We've changed the icon. We've adjusted the link spacing. We've adjusted the alignment. We gave it a custom background. Now let's give it a custom size. Now scrolling down here, there's definitely some more code here. This part of the code, that's just for fun. Just a little bit of style change that we can play around with. So I'll walk you through how all of these work. Let's copy this whole code right here scroll up, open our menu, and paste this, and check it out. We've now changed the size of our mobile menu. Now, what did we just add? <laughs> we just added this main part of the code right here. What this is doing is adjusting the distance between the edge of the screen and the menu. This one right here adds 10VH to the bottom. Now, 10VH means 10% of the view height. So if I change this to 50VH, then my mobile menu will only take up half the screen and we'll definitely need to use the scroll bar on the side here. I can change it to 5VH if I want to be really close to the bottom, super customizable. Same with left and right. If you wanna squeeze it in just a little bit more, maybe add 15. But I want you to notice when we just change that to 15, Gus is no longer on the menu. Gotta be careful about that. We've got a code to fix there too. We add 15 to the left. My inside the square isn't on the menu either. That's because of this code right here. We have to adjust the header too. So if I change this to left 15, I need to change this to left 15, okay? If you change the top here to 15, you better believe it. You better change the top here to 15 as well so that your header with your site title and your icon is still on the mobile menu. Now, after you've made all those adjustments, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these back to five so we can really see our menu here. There we go. I've added a few for fun. Now I've curved in the corners here. You can change this to maybe 5px if you want to, or 50 if you want it to be super curved corners, or just remove it. I just like the rounded edges, but you do you. Now after that, we have box shadow. Now this is a box shadow with vertical, horizontal, spread, and blur. If you don't know anything about box shadows, that's okay. You can play around with these colors if you want to, play around with these values and see how they look, adjusting the depth and the distance there, or completely remove it totally up to you. Now the last code here that I added for fun, this right here says when the header menu is open, so when we've got the open menu, make the page kind of transparent. I gave it opacity three. Let's adjust this bottom border a little bit so you can see what that means. Notice how we can barely see the content underneath the mobile menu now. What we've said with this code here is to make the page almost completely transparent. Now you don't have to have this if you don't want to, when we remove this entire code, you'll be able to see fully visible the page underneath the mobile menu, but I think it really helps uh, take away from that distraction. I think it's important to add just a little bit of opacity there so it's really easy to tell that all you're supposed to be interacting with is what's in that main menu. Now this thing looks like a little bit of a mess after all of those changes that we made. So again, play around with the size until it's perfect, maybe give it curved corners, uh, changing up the alignment there. Like, let's say we actually want this to be a uh, flex start. So all the links are up at the top. You've got a lot of different options now. I'm gonna press save and we'll close this so we can review one last time. Now to change the icon, replace this with the icon from your site styles menu. And instead of background size contain, you can try cover if you want to. And if you know a lot more about backgrounds, feel free to play around with those values. For link spacing, use your menu. Hop into edit mode. Scroll up to the top here and select Edit Site Header. Click on the mobile icon, and for Overlay Menu, adjust the link spacing manually like this, or use your alignment options here to align left, center, or right. 
And then to adjust the alignment of the icons in the menu, for that we needed a little bit of code. I'm gonna hop out of edit mode so I can open the uh, accordion here, there we go. For adjusting that alignment, we can use the justify content option. Flex start pushes them up to the top, flex end pushes them to the bottom. Then we have space between, space around, and space evenly, which is my favorite. After that, we gave it a custom background image. All you need to do here is replace this with your URL. And if you don't want it to be covered, change that to contain, but know that it might repeat. And then last but not least, we change the size. Remember, anything you change here, if you change the left value or if you change the top value, make sure you change it down here as well, where it says top and left for the actual header. That'll be your site title and the close icon. And after that, we've added a little bit of style where we gave it a border radius and a shadow, and we went ahead and made the page slightly transparent. We just covered a lot in this video, and again, every single one of those codes is listed in the description below. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, give me a like and a comment. Let me know which one of these five creative ideas you're going to try on your own Squarespace website. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week, and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.